So, uh, good evening, everyone. So, tonight is uh, February 21st, 2023, and uh, at sundown, we started the month of Adar. And uh, Adar is a very powerful month for miracles, and, uh, and, and we're going to talk about that uh, in a few minutes uh, while we're learning about the the power behind the month so again why do we learn why do we why do we celebrate the changing the changing of the months well the, aside from it is instructed in god's word um we need to understand there are spiritual patterns and uh like the changing of the season as we, we we've been learning the changing of the season uh, is preparing us for uh, the coming season. So like I said, winter doesn't happen overnight. There are signs and there are indications uh, uh, to warn us, uh, prepare us. And same way, um, every day we see the different uh, rays of the sun. The 6 o'clock a.m. sun is different from the rays that happen at 12 noon also at 5 p.m. So there's different energy that's being released. So we need to be, be, be aware of that so, to, so that we can prepare and we can uh, anticipate. And, um, and that's what um, God wants us to do. We need to be uh, ready. Uh, we need to know what type of baskets we need to, to carry with us. If God is pouring out uh, blessings of uh, of gold. We need a strong basket, right? We don't we we can't have a paper bag with us. Are you still here? Amen. <laughs> so we need to uh, be prepared. And when the blessings flow, we 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 don't want to be caught unaware because it will be like uh, like the water over a duck. You know, the water just flows out of the duck. It doesn't affect the duck. And we don't want God's blessing not to affect us. Amen. So uh, the month of Adar, as I said, is the 12th month starting from Nisan. So this is the last month of the spiritual calendar. And like I said, it started tonight at sundown, February 21st. Uh, this year is not a leap year, meaning there is no Adar 2. Uh, there's no 13th month. The 13th month happens uh, seven times over a 19-year cycle. Last year was a leap year, but this year is not a leap year. Now, the seven of Adar is interesting because that is when, when Moses was born. And as we said last year, it's also the year, the day that Moses died. So it's a, it's a very powerful month for, for uh, power of strength. At the birth of the Redeemer, uh, remember Moses represents uh, the Redeemer. And in that, there is an element of transition. And we learned that Moses was the greatest prophet. Why was he the greatest prophet next only to the Messiah? Why? We learned that uh, Moses was the great prophet because of his humility. And uh, uh, humility means that he's not looking after his own welfare but he's looking at the welfare of others so this month exemplifies uh the attribute of uh humility and intercession and we're gonna we're gonna see more of that and uh, the, the 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 hebrew word for adar is spelled aleph dalet uh, and uh resh and it's very much connected to the word adir, which means strength and power. So strength and power is associated with, as we will learn, joy and happiness. Now the word adar, the word dar means to dwell. And this is the month where God's uh, ever presence is, uh, is strong. Although we don't see God, God is concealed, but the uh, this is the month where there are hidden miracles, hidden or concealed miracles. Uh, so uh, if I go to the next slide. So the sense, remember there are 12 senses associated to the 12 months. And this month, the sense associated with the month of Adar 
is laughter or uh, or we call it joy or happiness now why is uh, adar a month of joy uh, and what is uh, happiness well, god is commanding us that every day we should be increasing our our joy our happiness so uh, starting tonight every night we will be increasing our joy and we're going to explain that later on but uh, in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, he says there, he said, then he said to them, talking about uh, when, uh, when, when, uh, when they were reading the Torah scroll, they realized how far they are from, from the truth of God's word. So, but uh, the prophet Nehemiah encouraged them. He said, they said to them, go, go home, eat rich food, drink, uh, drink sweet drinks, and send portions to those who can't provide for themselves. So, uh, and then he says there, so today is consecrated to, to our Lord. Don't be sad because the joy of Adonai is your strength. So here uh, um, he's connecting our action to the strength that, that God provides for us. Philippians chapter four, verse uh, four to 11, rejoice in the union of the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. Let Everyone, see how reasonable and gentle you are. The Lord is near. Don't worry about anything. On the contrary, make your make your request known to God by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. So here, uh, uh, the, the Paul uh, Rabbi Saul is connecting uh, the idea of prayer and intercession and petition and thanksgiving. To, rejo to rejoicing. Verse 7, Then God's shalom, passing all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds safe in union with Messiah Yeshua. In conclusion, brothers, focus your thoughts on what is true. What is true? The word of God is true. What is noble, what is righteous, what is pure, what is lovable, or what is admirable on, on some virtue or something praiseworthy. And then verse 11, not that I speak in respect to what of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therefore, to be content. So the, one of the secrets, there's two secrets of joy. One is uh, true joy can only come when we serve God. So this is uh, uh, what Nehemiah is talking about. When we serve God, there is, there is joy. And then the second uh, the second secret of, the, of true joy is when we are content with what we have. We don't look at what we don't have and you say, God, why don't I have this nice car? Or why don't I have this nice house? But the, the car in the house that you have, God said, I want you to, 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 to be content on what you have. So contentment is linked to our joy, true joy. We're satisfied with our lot. In Deuteronomy chapter 23, 33, we see here that the tribe associated with the month of Adar is the tribe of Naphtali. Naphtali. Now, Naphtali um, was the second son of Bila, which is Rachel's handmaiden, the sixth son of Jacob. And uh, when uh, Naphtali was born, uh, Rachel named her, named him Naphtali, which means that uh, the, the, the struggle is done. The, 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 she, has, she has been competing with her sister. And she's saying uh, when Naphtali was born, the, the, the struggle between uh, the sisters is gone. There's victory over struggle. So in, uh, interesting because um, in Genesis chapter 49, verse 21, Naphtali, uh, the blessing of Jacob that was, was given to to uh, to Naphtali, the tribe of Naphtali, he said, Naphtali is a hind let loose. He gave it godly, godly words. So uh, Naphtali is known, is a tribe known for, for being uh, rich, being blessed. It says here in Deuteronomy chapter uh, 33, verse 23, Naphtali said, of Naphtali, satisfied with the favor, and full with the blessing of the Lord. 
possess the west and the south so the tribe of natalie if you see uh, in, in the in, when the when the land was distributed Naphtali is the first uh, area where the fruits blossom. So when the fruits blossom, it's always the, the area where Naphtali's tribe is, is associated with. So um, Naphtali, Naphtali represents the idea of being satisfied because they, 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 had, uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't have any luck in their lives. So they didn't look at... Uh, Look at others and say, "Okay, you know, you know, how come you have a bigger house than me?" So they, they were satisfied. They were they 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 grew up. They were the tribe that they, they were very blessed. They were very happy. They were not looking at others. And uh, Naphtali uh, uh, was also known as a tribe of intercession. So they interceded for, for uh, for in behalf of Israel. In Habakkuk chapter three, verse eighteen to nineteen, it says, "Let let." Let I uh, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Verse nineteen: The Lord is my strength, and He make my feet like hinds feet, and He will make me walk upon my upon high places, to the chief singer of the string instrument. So here, uh, again, uh, linking the uh, the uh, the joy of serving God. Uh, that God will give us his strength. So um, Naphtali is, uh, uh, again, connected to uh, the tribe that intercede by praying, prayer, and blessing. Uh, Naphtali in Hebrew has a meaning also that means to connect. How do we connect with God? We connect with God through our prayer and our service, our action. So to increase our joy, to begin to look at others, uh, it's a bond of intercession and prayer. When we stop focusing on ourselves and our on our problems, and pray for others, it is very strong month for answered prayers and hidden miracles. So every uh, month also is connected with a astronomical sign, and the astronomical sign, as we know, is Pisces. Pisces is Fish. Uh, fish is interesting because the fish is symbolic of, of not only blessing but concealed blessing. Why? Because if you look at the, if you look at the ocean, unless you own an aquarium, you don't see the fish, right? Do you see the fish in the ocean? You don't see it unless you dive. Maybe you you you, you scuba dive, then you can see the fish. So fish is symbolic of hidden blessing. And of course, water in, in, in Hebrew, in, in the Jewish mindset means blessing. It means the word of God. It means the Torah. So uh, this month is very strong with the theme of hidden miracles. Remember, it is also in this month on the 14th of Adar is when we celebrate Purim. Purim this year is on March the 6th. To the 7th to 2023. So Adar is a month of miracles and reversals, the month of supernatural interventions and suddenlies, and of course the month of hidden blessing. As we know, as we as we as we as we read the book of Esther, you'll notice that there's not one mention of God's name in that book. Why? But we know, uh, we know from the story that. Behind the scene, behind everything that's happening to Mordecai, that's happening to Esther, you know they've been uh, exiled. They've been uh, they've been uh, then um, um, Esther was taken. We see all of that hidden behind all of that is is God and God um, really uh, working, interceding on uh, or. Uh, um, working behind the scene and showing them uh, the hidden miracles. And uh, the letter associated with the month of Adar is the letter Kuf. And the, this is a, the letter Kuf is, uh, um, is very interesting because it is the only letter um, of the 22 normal letters, because of course there are uh, the ending letters that are, um, that uh, uh, 
that are, we're not talking about those types of letters. We're talking about the normal letters. And Kuf is the only letter that is be, the, below the line, the same way that Lamed is the only letter that is above the line, you can see here. But what's interesting about the letter Kuf is it's symbolic of uh, of the of it's of of a sadic of a righteous person. Of course, we know that there's only one righteous, and that is Yeshua the Messiah. And we said that Yeshua is very connected to this letter because you see here that the uh, it goes below the line. is symbolic of the Word becoming flesh and dwelling among us. Yeshua coming down. Why did he come down? Why did the Messiah come down? Uh, to save mankind, to, to find the holy sparks. Um, and, uh, and that is, uh, that is our, our role as well. We, 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 we preach the word of God. We preach the truth of God's word. And we, we bring people into the kingdom. So the letter group represents going down the motion of uh, Yeshua, the archetype, the soul coming down from the body, coming down into, into the body in, in order to fulfill its mission into the world. So the letter Kuf begins from the, from the word holy, Kadosh, and uh, is further connected to the letter Kuf going down, another important manifestation of the Messiah. So, and uh, interesting is uh, uh, the Kuf has a numerical value of 100, as we know, a hundred is a uh, powerful number. Abraham was 100 years old when he, he gave birth to Isaac. We know that Isaac sowed during the famine. And what did he reap? It says there in uh, Genesis, he reaped a hundred folds. hundred folds. And uh, what did Yeshua teach us about the parable of uh, forgiveness? He said, uh, a, a forgiving king, a king, who has forgiven an enormous debt, the parable of the, uh, uh, of the person who was uh, forgiven. He owed the debt of a, of a nation, and, and yet God forgave him. And yet when this person owed him uh, a, a dinner, he did not forgive the person. So, so again, it's, uh, it's, it's a month of, uh, also of understanding of forgiveness and repentance. And understanding that, that, uh, the, the same way when, when, uh, when uh, during the time of Purim, when things are not going as planned, meaning uh, Mordecai, he saved the king's life. And apparently he was not rewarded, wasn't he? Right? He would, he would have thought that, he, that the king would have uh, recognized him for saving his life. And yet he was not recognized. And what happened? Uh, Haman, the enemy, he got promoted, right? So sometimes, you know, we, when when we see these things happening, sometimes we we say, okay, God, you know, uh, you're not, uh, you know, you're not in my world. What's happening? But we need to understand that that even though when, when we think that we, we need to, in other words, this is a month of trusting God because sometimes we feel that. You know, things are not going our way. We think that God is no, no longer with us. But God is assuring us that even though, even though things are not happening or things are not happening as fast as we want it, what the enemy is trying to do is he's trying to discourage us. He's trying to, to make us uh, uh, lose our faith. But God is saying, I want you to, to look at Mordecai or the how you know he he saved the life of the king and yet he was bypassed for a promotion. And, and what happened? The enemy got promoted. And uh, and 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 uh, oftentimes we, we, we look at our situation and say, you know, um, you know, my, my life is, uh, you know, uh, going nowhere. But you see in John chapter 12, verse 24, what did Yeshua said? He said, yes, indeed, I tell you that unless a grain of wheat 
that falls to the ground dies. If not, it's, it stays just a grain. But if it dies, it produces a big harvest. He who loves his life loses it, but he who hates his life in this world will keep it safe right unto eternal life. Why, why die unless we die to the self? The fruits will not go for. In other words, what the, what the Messiah is saying to us today that uh, you know this is this is the month where we need to to uh, to recognize that even though you know things are not going our way, we need to trust God because He has a plan in our life. We need to we need to die to self. We need to uh, to again. It's a month of humility. We we we. We remember Moses. Moses is, was born and died on this month. So it's uh, the, one of the theme is the humility. We need to humble ourselves. We need to recognize that uh, you know God is in control. And sometimes we we need to remind ourselves. You know, like uh, you know, we can never appreciate light until we experience darkness, isn't it? You know, uh, I remember growing up in the Philippines where. We, we would have rolling uh, uh, brownouts where at evening, we, you know, we would have no lights for several hours. And I remember growing up when, when the light finally came, you know, it was like uh, rejoicing. We were rejoicing. Uh, and we appreciated uh, when, when there was light. So, so the same way, you know, God is allowing us to go through trials and tribulations because uh, in the end, in the end, it will make us uh, stronger. So Revelation chapter 12, chapter 2, verse 10, don't be afraid of what you're about to suffer. Look, the adversary is going to have some of you thrown in prison in order to put you to the test. You will face an ordeal for 10 days. Remain faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you a life as a crown. So here, God is reminding us. You know, we we are we are awaiting for His crown. Revelation chapter three, verse ten. Because you obey my message about persevering, I will keep you from the time of trial coming upon the whole world to put the people living on the earth to the test. Behold, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take away your crown. So uh, God is reminding us, reminding us, you know, we are living in the last of the last days and and the Messiah will come, is coming very soon. If you don't believe me, uh, you know, he's coming very soon and he's reminding us, he's encouraging us uh, and, uh, and uh, to, uh, to hang on, to hang on to the truth. You know, uh, when... Uh, you know, let's let us not be discouraged. I know you know it's easy for us to dis, to be discouraged when uh, when uh, we're, we're 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 speaking truth and and we seem that nobody's listening. Um, but let that let the seed of that that God it's it's God who 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 gives the increase, right? So to conclude today, before we pray, increasing in joy is what we are looking for. We are encouraging ourselves. You know, life is not easy. Life is hard, but yet God is encouraging us to increase our joy every day. Every day of this month, we are uh, we are increasing joy. We are not looking at our circumstances, but we're looking at His promise. We're looking at you know what God has uh, has uh, has promised us in His Word. We're looking at uh, uh, praying for 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 others, and we're not uh, so much fixated on ourselves on our on our needs, but we look at the needs of others. We are thankful for our lot. The most powerful milk miracles will happen this month when we pray for, for somebody's needs. You will see uh, your needs being met. This is a month of intercession. We look out for others, others' needs, and we expect great miracles of reversals. What the enemy meant for evil, God will make it turn around for our good. Amen? Amen. Amen. So with that, we are going to uh, go into our, 
uh, declaration we, we we're declaring tonight amen the the the, the hidden miracles uh, God working powerfully on our behalf amen so together all Psalm 81 let's 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 recite it together sing for joy to God our strength shout to the God of Jacob start the music Beat the drums. Play. Also on the, the sweet lyre and dynamics of the group and the shofar at Rosh Kodesh. Sound and the shofar at Rosh Kodesh and a full the moon for the people. Because right? this is it's the a, law of Israel, a ruling of the yeah. God of Jacob. He placed it as a testimony of Yosef when he came out yeah. against the land of Egypt. Psalm 148, verse 1 to 6. Together. Hallelujah. Praise Adonai from the heaven. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his armies. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all shining stars. Praise him, highest heaven and waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of Adonai, for he commanded that they were created. He established them forever and ever. He has given a law to which he must conform. All he gave them a set law and time so that they should not alter their task. Blessed yeah. are you, Lord, who renews the months. So we're going to lift our heels three times and we will say to the moon, Bless is your maker. Bless, Bless is he who formed you. Just as yeah. I leap towards you but cannot touch you, so may all our enemies be unable to touch us harmfully. Amen. Right. We're going to recite Psalm 100. A psalm of thanksgiving. Shout, shout for joy to Adonai, all the earth. Serve Adonai with gladness. Enter his presence with joyful songs. Be aware that Adonai is God. He is he who made us. And he we are his. His people, the flock of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courtyards with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For Adonai is good, his grace continues forever, and his faithfulness lasts through all generations. Together, may, may God guard our tongues from evil and our lips from speaking deceitfully. To those who curse us, let our souls be silent. Let my soul be like dust to everyone. Open our hearts to your Torah. Then our souls will pursue your commandments. As for those who design evil against us, speedily nullify their counsel and disrupt their design. Act for your name's sake. Act for your right hand's sake. Act for your sanctity's sake. Act for your Torah's sake that your beloved ones may be given rest. Let your right hand save and respond to us. In Yeshua's name, amen. So, Pastor, uh, uh, Everybody can still see the screen, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Sorry. All, may it be your will before you, Hashem, our God, the God of our fathers. Make this coming month one of good, blessing, miracle, time of favor. Grant us long life, a life of peace, of good, of blessing, of sustenance, of vigor, a life marked by reverence for you and a dread of sin, a life free from shame and reproach, a life of prosperity and honor, a life in which there shall be among us the love of Torah, a life in which our heartfelt desire will fill for good, covered under the blood of Yeshua. Powered by your Holy Spirit. By his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Kind of used in the New Testament too. So he who performed remembering miracles of he who performed father, miracles for our fathers and liberated us from freedom. May he quickly liberate from us. From slavery to freedom, and may he quickly liberate us and, and gather our exiles from the four corners of the earth, even all the friends of Israel, and show him, show them his salvation in Yeshua the Messiah. And we will say, Amen. Amen. Rosh Kodesh Adar starts sunset, February 21st, 2023, which comes to us and to all Israel for good. Together, Amen. may the Holy One. Blessed be, holy one, blessed be he, grant to us, grant to us all, all his people, people in the house of Israel, house of Israel for, life for life and peace, 
for gladness and joy, for deliverance and consolation in Messiah Yeshua, and we will say, Amen. So if you have your shofar ready, we're going to hear the sound of the shofar. So we're gonna pray the Hebrew, pray in Hebrew, and then we'll pray in English, and then those who have the shofar, we're gonna blow it together. Shofar, we're gonna blow it again. All right. So Baruch Ata Adonai Blessed are Blessed you, are you are Adam. 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 Shabbat shalom. Shalom, everyone. 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 Shalom, ever